Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com and another down day. It's starting to look pretty bad for the uh, bulls here, folks. Uh, it is looking a lot like a flash crash is coming. Not saying that it is, but it certainly is looking that way. Um, I myself am thinking that we are going to hit the fake print tomorrow morning and at that point I'll probably exit my shorts I don't know what um, is going to happen at that point unless it looks like it's going to have a flash crash and keep on going of course that's a possibility as well but I'm thinking uh, that 1230 area which is the fake print uh, 12303 on the spy which is um, let's see here where the heck is it um, try that again uh, there it is 12303 I think that's real I think that's our target for tomorrow this is on the spy there's also the another fake print of uh, let's see 5227 on the Q's at 911 how, how how convenient that was and um, so I think that's gonna be our bottom I think we're gonna hit that and bottom at that area and then I think we're gonna have some rally uh, after that to go back up and I don't know how much but it is getting um, you know looking like it very well could have a flash crash everything is still pointing down so we literally could have one of those days where for 20 minutes of the day it just goes whoop, bang and hits that 200 day moving average comes right back up and closes right at that fake print you, you remember how it did back um, back when we had the flash crash that particular it's, it's off the chart here but you remember how it did that for 20 minutes it just went bam 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 all the way down it turned and went right back up and then and then the next uh, Monday it opened up and just went I mean it's like 400 points open and went and went up hard so that very well could be the situation it's going to be based upon this Japan situation and whether or not they get their reactors um, uh, you know stable and or not so we, we just don't know what's going to happen there obviously this is a lot of fear in the market right now and there's no way to know uh, exactly what's for sure but I'm going by that fake print I, when it hits unless uh, unless it hits and just pierces through it like it's not like it's butter and just keeps right on going without even looking back uh, I'm looking to exit at that point and see what happens especially if it's like um, a gap down in the morning and it looks like it stalls and there's not any major news out if there's obviously some major news out, then it should, it'll just pierce on through it, like I said, and maybe come back up and close at it. That's a possibility, too. So, either way, that uh, that is the you know scenario. Here is the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average coming together right there at the same target, uh, around 1180 range or so. And that is the same target right here around the 1180 range. Um, so if we have a flash crash, that would where I expect it to go. And then for the feds to come in, pump it up and possibly close it at that fake print. Now, wouldn't that be something? You know, you go down, you pierce, you go down, have, the, you have your flash crash, come back, you close at the fake print, and then you rally for several weeks or whatever. I don't know how long it's going to be. But obviously, um, you know they could curl this thing back up after a flash crash it'd be pretty uh, it'd be pretty ugly here on the weekly but they could rally it back up to wherever um, you can see what they did the next week after they had the flash crash right here on this one the very next week just boom 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 rallied all the way up to here so if we did that then we certainly could rally up to you know 1300 or something like that and um, and then we might have another week down like this one very well could happen very very similar to to this right here to this pattern so I, I, you know we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it I mean if you're short just look for that fake print it's really that when that hits 
you're just going to have to use your own judgment at that point on whether or not you think it's going to just slice through it like butter. You need to have the, the news on, be listening to the news to see what um, is happening on the news because um, the charts say we're going to go deeper, that we're going to go all the way. Charts say we could have a flash crash. I mean, look at where we're at. We're getting ready to go below 30 uh, on the RSI. And that means there's two to one. Well, it's at 33 right now. 33 means there is two to one selling versus uh, versus versus buying. So, and then you've got this ADX line hooking up majorly. This is all signs of a flash crash coming w without a bounce here. So I don't know the answer there. I wish I did. If I did, I would uh, be able to time this market out perfect. But you can clearly see everything is bearish. There's no sign of this turning back up. So in the event of a flash crash, and if it gets down to this area, man, you 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 better put your um, sell signals in at that point. <laughs> because I'm sure once it hits that, it's going to bounce hard. There's lots of support there on this on this uh, 200 moving average here on the daily, as well as this right here. You realize that these two lines coming together with the 250 moving average on the weekly, that's a necktie of support plus this horizontal uh, resistance right there. That's or horizontal support. That's three levels of support. We will the odds of us hitting that and not go, going through it. I'm sorry, the odds of us hitting it and not bouncing are very, very slim. If you if we hit that in an intraday move, that should guarantee you a hit to go on the long side. And that would probably take this down here to easily hit this uh, support line drawn here on the RSI. You know, and probably want to curl back up and, and, and at, you know, after that and move back up the following week. It's what you'd probably want to probably want to see. So, um, as far as the 60, well, we've been waiting on this thing to get up here and, and go positive and, and just hasn't been able to do it. But if you look how oversold we are, we are down here at negative 10 on the Mike D's. This is extremely oversold. We are very, very close to a huge rally coming because um, all it takes is just some good news, uh, Japan. That's really what's going to take. Uh, I do believe. Just, just spend some good news, come up with something. Here we are in, at a negative 7.5 on the 30-minute chart, and of course the 15s up and down. It's uh, to staying down here pretty low. So it's really, you know, we just been riding this line down. Just in, in this last up, we just didn't get the futures are up a little bit in the after hours, but not much. It could go either way. But I still think we're going to bottom around that flash, or not flash crash, but around those fake prints areas and tag them and then reverse after that. But, uh, like I said, I will throw out that possibility that we could pierce right through them on a flash crash, on a flash crash, go all the way down and hit this level right here on the 200-day moving average, come back up and close right at that uh, right at those fake prints so that's a possibility too and you know the charts would certainly support it is it doesn't this does not look like a healthy bottoming tail for a rally to, to to come back up if we had a, a move that went way down here then it come all the way back up that'd be a beautiful bottoming tail for a move to you know for this thing to roll back up and to go up ever how high it's going to go you know we still have that um that fake print I got of 138 something. What was it? 138 on the spy. I can't remember what it was now. 138.86 on the spy. That is 13.80. 13.86, I guess. 13.86 here on the uh, SPX. That could be the high, you know, months down, months, months away from here. I don't know how. I don't know how far. But so they, if they do tag this. You know, you'd better be getting out of your shorts because uh, the PPT will come in and they are going to do their best to run this market up and save the day and and then just have to see from there. If we do not have a flash crash tomorrow, 
and we just simply have uh, we hit the fake print and let's just say we rally up on some good news tomorrow from Japan then be wary and look out for what could happen over the weekend with the 19th the 22nd 23rd of what this woman says you know that we got this guy saying um, that we have a possible earthquake here that um, could could hit during uh, could hit the uh, west coast California area during that time period over the weekend and, and so so we got a lot of uh, I'm gonna post this guys this uh, sorry about that but anyway it, it's this here this here fella here not this guy hit the mute button on that I'll just play it just go forward a little bit this guy here talks about a ring of fire this could happen this guy was pretty this fella here has been pretty accurate in the past he's a scientist I guess uh, so he studies this kind of, he's got scientific evidence to, to back it up but Jim Berklin I'll put this video on my blog for you so you can just go to my blog at reddragonleo.com and, and for those of you that don't know about the comments you can when you go to my blog you just simply click on the um, this title right here of course the header if you click on the header it takes you to the home page but if you click on the title it will show you all the comments it will change from from blue to red I think I've said that once but I wanted to just repeat it again for you so once you click on it it will take you and it will take you to the same thing but now it will be red see how it's red and then of course you just simply scroll down and you'll see all the comments of all the people that are talking intraday so you know that's what you want to read but I'm gonna put that video on here for you as well as the one I'm doing right now and um, so that you can look look at that and check it out for yourself this guy seems pretty credible so there and then, and then of course the other video that you've already seen of this woman talking about the 22nd and the 23rd so if we do not have a flash crash tomorrow if we don't then what I'm looking for it to happen I'm still uh, I would look for this to, to rally up a little bit uh, well not a little but quite a bit on um, Thursday tomorrow and Friday and then possibly Monday possibly you know we'd have to see where it goes but if it goes back up here to this 1300 level by Friday I'd be real real um, itching I guess would be the word I'd be itching to go short over the weekend because of what that guy says about the 19th and then what the woman says about the 22nd and a possible earthquake on the west coast if it happens over the weekend I'd rather be short so if it hits 1300 on Friday by a rally back up and we do not have a flash crash tomorrow if we simply go down and hit the fake print and around 1230 area like I was saying if we simply hit that and then rally back up tomorrow then we should rally up Friday as well and we'll see where it goes from there so you know just play that by ear but if it goes up here and tags that 1300 level by Friday yeah uh, I know bullish Monday right but no 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 I, th I think at that point I'll probably go shorter over the weekend because you know who knows what could break out over the weekend we just don't know so but for now I want you to focus on the fake prints because they worked in the past I want to take you back just in case you forgot to 2010 and 2010 right here on this date January the 11th yes 11 again the Illuminati's favorite number right 2011 oh here's the uh, the 138 86 fake print and um, let's see is it is it on here as well or is it just no nope, I don't see it there I think it was just a screenshot right there yeah well, maybe it is I'm just not seeing it 138 uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay, well, anyway, it's it's here. This this is old. Okay, this is obviously it's still showing. I, well, I haven't refreshed the page. If I refresh it, it'll disappear. I'm sure. So, but I wanted to show you back here. Remember this. Remember this date, January one. That's one eleven. 111 418 18 is when I took the snapshot. Now that don't really mean anything because I could have it was up, you know, it was up for for an hour or two. I don't know how long it was up. But I want you to look at that. 111 is Illuminati's numbers. Four and seven makes eleven, and one is one eleven. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you again. 97 point drop, January the eleventh. Okay, 1047. I remember that. Now, let's go back to January here. January 11th is right here when I got this print. And literally, one, two, three, four weeks later, we hit, again, we hit 1044. I know you can't tell it, but I remember it. 1044 and 50 cents. And so we pierced through it a little bit. And if I had an intraday chart of that to see, that put in a major bottoming tail on like a five or ten minute candle. Just went right down there and bam, hit that print. Pierced through it a little bit, 1047, because, you know, it had a lot of momentum going. And so it pierced through it, hit the 1044.50, and quickly reversed. And you see what happened all the way there after that, week after week after week, nonstop. Okay? So, if you don't think those fake prints work, you know, think again, because they do. Um, you just have to, you know, obviously catch the real ones. And obviously this was a real one with, with, with the encoded messages in it. With, um, you know, that being 1 and 4 and 7 makes 11. And 111 and then the date was 111. And, you know, so those are real. The ones, uh, you know, obviously the ones here that we're looking at. The only thing I can see with this one is 911. Okay, and it's 5227. So, you know, the 911 obviously is a ritual number because that's 911, dial emergency. So, uh, and then of course, as for the other one, it's, um, can't really make anything out of it. It showed up at 88 with a volume of 5,000, so I really didn't see anything with it. But um, regardless, uh, I, I still think that, uh, that these are real prints. So, so that's what I'm looking for tomorrow, folks. Again, if we if we pierce through, if we pierce through it and look like we're going to continue down, we pierce through it and it looks like we're going to continue down to a flash crash. Then obviously, you know, this 200-day moving average is your your target. If not, if it looks like it's a little bit calm and it's just slowly selling off, when it hits that fake print fake print area, sorry, I'm tired. Um, then that's when I look to be getting out. So uh, it looks like it's stabilizing the after hours right now with the up points. We're around 1261 right now or something on the ES. So, okay, gang, uh, good luck. And uh, if you're on the blog, uh, you read the blog, post something. You know, if you're just a, a lurker, post something. You know, we're friendly. Well, everybody there's friendly. So feel free to post away. Everyone's welcome. See you on the blog.